What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Batman series here on the channels. This one obviously is on Telltale series though. As you guys already know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Batman and everything that comes with the whole idea of Batman. Batman is just such an amazing character in my opinion. And I'm actually very, very excited to play this on the channel. So I've never actually played this. I don't know what to expect. I heard it's a pretty good series, so I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out here on uh, the channel together. But as you guys can see, I am playing this on PC, except I'm hoping to play this on a controller. So we'll see if we can get that situated here, uh, of course. But if not, oh well, we'll figure it out with the keyboard and mouse, of course, either way it's going to get played but if you're excited for this video do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's go ahead and get to this all right so it's one of those uh Choose your adventure games, of course. That looks really good, actually. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Hey, what are you... Oh my god, I was not expecting that. That dude got blasted! Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? Bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. You know he's talking about Batman. Wait, so this is... this is City Hall? Christ. Move in! I thought it was a bank. Gotham Zoo. Harvey oh, Dent. Fly there he is! A. B. Oh, you know this dude saw it. Pause real quick. I do want to put on subtitles. Uh, gameplay maybe. Nope. Uh, display subtitles. There we go.
Let's continue. Oh snap. Oh, this is creepy, dude. Dunskies. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. Ah, you. You're gone. You're gone. It's just you and me, buddy. Oh, imagine seeing that. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh god, what are you doing? Let's go! I have a feeling that uh, I'm gonna be getting into trouble with these quick time events. For all I know, I'm gonna get Batman killed. Oh! 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 Oh, fuck, wrong button! Oh god. Let's go! Oh, we're on button. Uh, let's go. Dude super punched his ass. Oh my god, no way. At least they wanted that door open. I have assisted. Did hey, it's... Mother teach you to knock? It's Catwoman. Behind you, big boy. Whoa! Hey, Let's go! Alright! Woo! Get over here! Selena Kyle! Stay where you are! You're on uh oh! Uh, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Rain check on my arrest. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic now. Just a performance. What is this, a boss fight already? Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. <laughs> the law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. The city needs Gotham protecting. Needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Oh, God. You gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Oh, we're definitely gonna Let's fight. Put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Oh fuck! Let's go. I'm actually happy that it slows it down a little bit because I would be messing this up left and right. Let's go! 
sorry, Selena, not today. Okay, maybe today. Let's go. So much for your little rope. I feel bad because they have like a thing for each other. Kinda. Ow. That hurt. Uh oh. Gotham City News. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, this is so cool. Selena just got a freaking gut punch. <laughs> It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. What the hell is this? Let's go. Did I get her? <laughs> this battle's intense. Stalemate, it looks like. Oh snap. Why? Because I gotta. Uh, oh fuck, wrong button. Let's go. Woo! That was badass, even though I got punched in the face. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Am I though? Whoa, what the hell? Damn it! Said don't shoot! No! Wait! I got blasted, dude! Uh-oh, here goes this thing again. What is that thing? I think it's pretty cool. You're mine, Selena. Yeah, I just killed her. <laughs> oh, snap. I got you. Oh, snap. Is she still falling? She is. That was a close one. I wonder if she would die if I didn't push A right there. That was pretty freaking intense. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Uh, don't struggle, you'll fall. <laughs> don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Let's go. Bye. She's wild In a good way Meanwhile I got blasted in the freaking side of my On my side <laughs> Step out of the shadows And be Bruce Wayne tonight Oh that's a much harder fight Don't let tombstones be your family legacy Time to save the city. That was the best intro to a freaking Batman game I've seen so far. That was badass. And I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. All right, all right. Sounds sounds like a plan. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. <laughs> fashionable and fashionably late, as always. You were saying? 
Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Uh... Enjoy my wine, it's expensive. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. That's funny. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer <laughs> the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner... I like to make an entrance. Alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Or maybe they did. The Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him. Who the hell is he talking to? This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'm doing this for Just Gotham. Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. Mm. It always makes me sound like a used car Ooh, salesman. Ooh, put a dent Which in crime. Weird, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I like that one. Use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. All right, all right. Looks like we got more guests. This game looks absolutely fantastic for being a, you know, comic book esque, self shaded Wayne, I'd almost. I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course, I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent. We believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. We can all make well, a difference. thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. <laughs> the Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Watch Don't yourself. <laughs> Regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but... One man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Depends on the man. It all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking exactly. out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> now don't worry though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. 
Uh, and tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. You have no if idea. Only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, Thanks for your sympathy. Well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go Yay. get him. We're on our way. Look at us, we're getting him <laughs> some more support. I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I'm a charming, charming and charismatic individual. Dent. All right, what's Gotham's going on? Next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. <laughs> Not oh, it's Vicky. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you uh... want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm Just here. Just keep for it off the record. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Except you. How are you doing? You should enjoy your own party. Uh, before all the champagne runs out. Better now that you're I'm here. doing better now that you're here. Ooh, you, look at me flirting. Shirts weren't around. I'd give you the private tour. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, uh, is that blood? Just a scratch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cut myself shaving. Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It's just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. <laughs> you excuse me, Master Bruce. But, uh, Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Who's this guy? Carmine Falcone? Oh, Is snap. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Oh, that's not a good thing. We cannot get in bed with this guy. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Uh. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. It doesn't look good. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Is that a threat? Dent? You know, I've been in the market for a new house. No, I'm not going to play nice. walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Uh, you, decor, you can't afford it. <laughs> oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> right. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh God, they're all watching too. Nah, bro, I'm not doing it. You're a respectable man, I hear. <laughs> Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Oh, man, this is getting tense already. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. Uh, There's still plenty of skirts to keep you busy Harvey for comes a few with minutes. Me. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah. What did I say? 
Seriously, screw this guy, dude. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. What are the rules exactly? But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. I say you can well, do both. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to chill about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. The hell's this? Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Um, I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Toss him the chalk. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. I'm not your okay, slave imagine. either. This is me. <clears throat> and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between yeah. your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. We're not we friends. Good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. Listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Uh-oh. And which to break. I you should go. So we'll see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. I just did. Not for long. Oh, it's getting tense. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Agreed. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> He's gonna get what's coming to him. Uh oh. What the hell did I get myself into? That was the intro? Oh, this is gonna be good. This is going to be amazing. I'm actually really, really freaking excited for this. What do we got here? It's me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hey, the Batmobile! The Batcave looks sick. Realm of Shadows. Oh no, it's the tickets!
items were returned. Good. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Yeah, I had a feeling we kept that. Access. Um. Codex entries. New criminal on the scene. Tried several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. All right, so this is Oswald Cobblepot. All right. Um, arms dealing illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. He was a child friend, a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Um, hold on, this is all just background information. Codex. No, this is the same thing, right? Uh, pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. I don't know what that means. Oh, there we go. Wait, how do I do? Oh, okay, this thing right here. I get it now. I get it, I get it. Do we have to... Hold on, what is this? All right, where would I analyze it? Wait, what's this right here? Movie tickets, cowl. Is there something else I need to do? Uh, look at the gadgets. Grapple gun. All right, I'm not sure if this is the right place I need to be. Oh, data port. It's time to get to work. That's where that was so important. Of course it is. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. God damn. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. I like it. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Alright, what is this? Is that like the plants of the city? Um... Alright, there's gotta be something around here that I can click on. I legit don't see anything though. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, That's I nice. Couldn't be sent to the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Okay. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Good. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried <laughs> I might drink all my good scotch. 
For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. That's not Catwoman. I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Doubt it. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step in what way? without it ending up in the news lately. Um. Or Batman. Uh. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. Uh-oh. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You you're got a point there. More than ever. You have to be careful. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not <laughs> partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Uh, yep, take it. I thought I saw Oz. In what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. Oz? Who the hell's Oz? 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 Thieves. Oswald. Oh, Oswald. Oswald. That role more literally than you. The penguin. Sonable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Well, fortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now? It's definitely not a coincidence. Do you think he might know something about the breaking? His Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. It might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. Of I'll course be careful, not. Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll take care of business properly. Cobblepot Park. 6.06 a.m. I guess I'm going as Bruce. Yep, he's on drugs. Cobblepot Park. Where are you, Oz? He's a penguin, that's what. Uh, graffiti. Let's look at the newspaper. What does it say? I'm not sure what it said. I kind of missed it. What does it say? Armstrong? Alright. Whatever. Let's go inside. We're definitely going to find some more information over here somewhere. Homeless person. Examine. Give him change. Uh, thank you, sir. Gotta be a nice guy. Plus, I'm a billionaire. It's really not gonna do anything. Look at the burning barrel. There's definitely gonna be nothing in here, man. Oh, so it must be a really cold night out if I'm over here. Why am I not wearing a jacket, though? If it's that cold. Message. 
Uh, running late, meet you at uh, by the statue. Where's I'm assuming the statue that's the statue. No eyes. Um, smoking man, graffiti. Let's look at the graffiti. See what it said. Oh no, that's not what I want to see. Let's look at the statue. Fuck it. Oh, here comes Oswald. Watch Wallet Cash. When this goes through you. Uh-oh. You heard him, man. Just walk the away. What are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. What? Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Oh, Tell snap. Me. I think that'll do. Goodbye. Stay down. Oh, my God. He is brutal. <laughs> I just slapped him. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Too bad you ain't gonna be do Oh my god, that looked painful. That looked even more painful. This is my part! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. <laughs> you got a little uh you got a lot yeah. on your face. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Um, Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Let's just see oh, what he has to say. God, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. I mean, it sounds People good. all over to visit. Yeah. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. You're right. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. Well, one of us. <laughs> <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Was he an alcoholic? Mom committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. <clears throat> My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles, we think. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I lost my parents my too, though. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own feelings to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Not by himself willingly. That oily. <sighs> yeah, he wasn't invited. I punch that grin in the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And what is he implying? It'll be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Yeah, a little bit. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. 
Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. When my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like uh, said, it's not gonna be pretty. I'm not it's your enemy. Beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Alex. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Why does he hate me for? Oh, I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure that you're on the right side. Yeah, I don't like the way he's turned out. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. I mean, clearly, though, he's going to be the penguin, so there's that. I guess it doesn't surprise me. Message. Press conference for news hospitals are soon. Car waiting on south side of park. Very nice. Man, that conversation was pretty intense, man. Future home of Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. Damn, look at that sexy ass car, dude. That looks like a Batmobile 2.0. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. Well, hello there. This way. Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> okay, we okay then. We're out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Need to talk? Alfred? Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Uh... Its security... Not now. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Oh, Arkham snap. Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Uh, yes. Um, the sick need our help. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. Facts. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Damn. Uh... Uh, let's put a dent in crime. This facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Hell yeah. Didn't look very enthusiastic. I'm, uh... <laughs> Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. Hi, Vicky. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Oh, God. Uh, 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 standing. I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. That was a tough question. Julia Remark of the Tribune. 
My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. Uh, Falcone's no friend. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Sorry, Harvey. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Oh, I gotta ignore this. I got to. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh, God. Maybe I should have answered the phone. Uh... How... Uh, fuck! Oh, how dare you! How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being... What? Criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Uh, Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises? Your case? source is wrong. <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. What the hell I'll just happened? your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, snap. Was not expecting that. Maybe I should have answered the phone. But alright guys, before we continue on, we're definitely going to have to do that in another video because we've already reached that, you know, time limit that I allot myself for these games. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to call it a video right here, right now. This game is so far pretty freaking on point, man. I really like it, especially the intro. It's probably been one of the best intros that I've ever experienced in a game, but specifically a Batman game in general. It's actually really, really cool. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge, huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.